Thomas his service starts early these days. The former Australian Special Forces Commando is hard at work. The cheerful morning brew served in his Brisbane coffee shop a long way from frontline tours in Afghanistan and East Timor. Alright my friend, this is going to be the best cappuccino you've had in 2020. No oh dear. But the transition from elite fighter to a civilian on Civvy Street was far from smooth. When you're used to sort of doing stuff that takes all of you and then some and all of your team, you're interconnected with your team, you're interconnected with your team with a goal, and then to be completely removed from that, and it's just this air-grabbing limbo, and it's so hard because it's so easy, um, and you don't have that team around you. It's a legacy of struggle that's dogged defence forces the world over. Almost one in two veterans will have a diagnosable mental health condition within the first five years out of the military. So that's an incredibly high rate and, and really tells us that that period of transition is, is extremely difficult for people. It sparked the Gallipoli Medical Research Foundation's groundbreaking six-year study on transition from service to civilian life, which was funded by RSL Queensland. What our research showed was this profound sense of loss when they leave the military system. And that profound sense of loss is really in three key areas, and that is the loss of their community and their culture, loss of their purpose, and loss of their identity. Out of this world-first research, the team created the Military Civilian Adjustment and Reintegration Measure, known as MCALM, an online questionnaire to help veterans work out where their transition challenges might be. The web-based tool asks targeted questions about their psychological situation, attitudes to past service, military habits and social connections, creating a profile of need. They give a lot of themselves and their families give a lot to, um, to protect our country and to serve the country. And so I think it's really important to support them where we can, to understand their, the impact of their service, the impact of the service on the families of those who serve, and to really, as a community, support and, um, and be there for them when they need us. The MCALM survey can be taken by veterans at any stage, even if service was decades ago, and from any device anywhere in the country. The project has had international interest and the full backing of RSL Queensland. It's this investment into um, research projects such as the MCALM which allow us to understand veteran quality of life, where we can improve it as well, to ensure that we have a bright future and enduring legacy for veterans and their families. Tim believes the MCALM could have saved him years of heartache. What this tool would have done was help break the isolation and that's the first step in getting uh, help. Feeling like you're the only one going through it is, is a, you can't win like that. You, when you realise, oh geez, there's other people going through this and there's people that are asking the right questions the right way, uh, game changer. Finding his purpose and connecting to a community again has certainly brought Tim a new lease on civilian life. See you, Bobby.